children, lineage. These are zina to Hayat and Dunya. There is a zina in this. There is a beauty in this. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says,
coming and going. But if you attach yourself to that which is better, what about the kind of look in the family? That which actually has a dimension of eternity, that which has a dimension of enduring, that as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu shayin halik, then he made an exception. Illa wajha. Accept his face. Accept his countenance. And then the question becomes, oh, that sounds really poetic. Well, I wonder what that means. But it's meant to be not something poetic out there. It's meant to mean something very realistic. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using waj. فَإِنَّمَا تَوَلَّوْ فَثَمَّا وَجْهُ اللَّهِ Wheresoever you turn, there is that waj. Because he is manifesting himself. Waj, face. When I say the face of someone, what comes to your mind? The essence of that person. The way that person is being manifest. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, every single thing is perishing. Except that you can attach for, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because everything is perishing, not just outward. You yourself are perishing. You're part of the halik. You are part and parcel of the hell. You are part and parcel of the lost in this world. Which is why as your soul looks out, and your soul is the subject of your experience. Do you know what the subject of your experience is? How many times a person says, I am that. I am a boy. I am a girl. I am a man. I am a policeman. I am a doctor. I am that. The subject of that question is the I. Of that statement is the I. When you attach your I am that, that that is the object, that's a doctor. I am a policeman. The question though is, the real subject that you are, the I, your sense of I am. And one of the great questions the Prophet was asked, He was asked, What is the rule? Fakhr bin al Razi says, What is the rule? The rule, if you understand, its ultimate question, that rule is that which you say, Ana, I am, here I am. That subject, at least in your lived experience, apart from when you sleep, is constant. You always feel you are, unless something has gone wrong. But if you're normal, you always feel you are, you feel you exist. But you see, I am this, I am that, and when you put that onto these stories, you can't be that. Really, that's just an identity. Doctor, this, that, these are little things that come and go. Who is the real subject there? Said, no, I'm a sad person today because I'm crying, because I'm feeling sad. That's a feeling coming and going in your eye. I'm strong, I'm weak, I'm this, I'm the, all of these things keep changing. Who is the subject? Who is it? Who is that I? What is that I? Could it ruin me? This I is a matter of your rub. Who you really are is a matter of your rub. And the word rub means the one who's raising you from place to place. It's even raising you until you finally realize one day what rubudiyah means and what rububiyah means. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us don't attach yourself to that which is coming and going. When Sayyidina Ibrahim
to that which comes and goes, whether it be the sun, whether it be the moon, whether it be the stars, whether it be that person, whether it be your job, whether it be your house, whether it be your health, whether it be your wealth, whether it be your life. Don't attach yourself to that which comes and goes because the common attribute of all of that is its coming and going. Why? It's just common sense. Because you'll be at pain. SubhanAllah, in the recent past, many of my friends, few of them, and it's quite common, we're reaching the age now, if things tend to go normal, we're reaching the age now where our parents, if they're alive, are seeing that coming going very dramatically. Somebody's 60, 70, 80. And you want to make sure, for some people, they want to make sure they leave this world before they've seen that come go so dramatically one minute, they're up and going, next minute you're bedridden. Next minute you can't go to the toilet yourself. Next minute you've got a sack dangling over here where your, your feces and your urine has to come up because you don't have the energy to go. Old age is in an ayah because old age is pointing you back and everything will be taken away. But you ask any old person, however old they are, how do you feel? The subject, the I am, what all the life experience that they've had. Experiencing the elderliness, experiencing the body, there's still the sense, I'm here. I, I don't feel, I feel like it was just, this time just passed by. So, wisdom is to wisen yourself up to what is reality before you're hit by it or it takes you away and you're not prepared for it. Wisdom is to understand the nature of reality itself, the nature of where your real joy lies. Where your real itminan, this itmanina, this contentment lies. Is it not through the dhikr of Allah that we hearts find the itminan? And why is the dhikr giving you that final peace? It's not the roller coaster, it's not going to Dubai more. What more roundabout? Oh, what, what can we do? If that's not going to give you itminan, if that's all you want, if that's all you want, that's not going to give you Minan. Jezreel, try it and see. Try it and see. Why is it that the, the, some of the most hedonistic people, the people whose whole life has been pursuing pleasures every single time they get, and they've got wealth and they've got everything, but yet you touch their hearts and there's an emptiness. We've been given a wealth at least given to us, we still have to actualize it, but given to us in wealth. Alhamdulillah We've been given a wealth. And sufficient is that as a blessing if we understood. What is that wealth? That you know who you are. You know why you're here. That you have a point to your life. If you understand as the Quran time and time it says do you not understand so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Allah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Sahih Hadith said what is the good that stays he said Allah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Prophet 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not making taqayyud. He's not saying the bad thing out of salihat. It's only this. And when he mentions these things as sayings, he's not saying the bad thing out of salihat. Are the literal phrases only the word of a heart that embodies its meaning? He's saying this is what stays. What is it that stays? Takbir. Allah Akbar. Family Abu Salihat is knowing that God is greater. Akbar is a superlative. Akbar is a comparison. Akbar always means every single thing. Every single thing that comes to your mind, Allah is Akbar. The Prophet is saying, back here the Salihat isn't, hey, I've got Allah Akbar going. If you get it, yes, good, listen, like I took the dhikr, the other man, Maghulim, Allah, he feet. Don't leave the dhikr, don't stop saying Allah Akbar just because you don't feel it. Because maybe the dhikr of by saying it on the lisan will go to your heart. So do it by all means, but don't think these hadiths are superficial hadiths. Don't be a person who's like, yeah, I'm, I've gone to Hajj and this has happened, I've got this many rewards. These hadiths are for their lead to, to encourage you, but they have a re reality to them. Allahu Akbar, I'm telling you now, take me on my word. That person who doesn't say Allahu Akbar, you say Allahu Akbar with a heart that's half you say Allah Akbar with a heart that doesn't understand its meaning. You say Allah Akbar with a heart that doesn't know anything of what it means. And that person who, whose mouth is shut, who is umur, who is dead, and can't say Allah Akbar, but at a certain point in his life, when he's faced with the choice of halal or halal, he turns away from the halal. He's turning away from the halal is Allah Akbar. And you're Allahumma thaqqid mawazi 
لنا وارفع فنجة وارفع فنجة التي درجاتنا وارفع فنجة أجمعين وطاعت رسول سيد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وطاعت من أمرت بطاعت عمل في قلبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا أطيع الله وأطيع رسول أولى الأمر منكم نفعني الله إياكم بالقرآن الأذين وبالسنة النبي الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم أقول قلبي هذا استغفر الله لي ولكم تستغفروه إنه هو الله Allah. 